Hey everybody, it's Joe with J. Blake Photo. So, <clears throat> I think we're all nerds out there, right? I think pretty much everybody who's watching my channel would consider themselves to a certain extent an, a nerd, or you're an enthusiast of some kind. So, I get super excited when I'm able to do cool things with my gadgets. Um, but sometimes I'll say something like, hey, I can edit 4K footage and do color grading from my drone on my iPad. And that may be, <clears throat> and that might be the nerdiest thing you've ever heard. But honestly, it is a ton of fun and it's really super helpful, especially when you're on the go. So whenever I'm editing on my iPad, there's a couple things that I need to keep in mind. Number one is I need to be able to color grade and color correct any footage that I'm working on. So whether I'm shooting with my iPhone, whether I'm shooting with my Canon 6D Mark II, or whether I'm shooting with the, um, the Mavic Pro, I normally am going to need to do a color grade when I'm done. Now I could just set everything to automatic or some sort of color profile, some sort of preset or something, um, but I really prefer to keep it flat uh, and, and then grade it and correct it later. So I even do this with my iPhone. So when I'm shooting video on my iPhone, because the iPhone shoots awesome 4K video, I actually have an app called Filmic Pro, um, and I'll probably do a review of this app at, at some point on my channel. Um, but this app actually allows me to access a log profile. So it'll do a completely flat color profile. It'll also let me uh, record with uh, increased bit rate. Um, there's just, there's a lot that I can do in that app. And then I take that footage and I grade it later. Uh, on, the, um, on the Mavic Pro, I shoot in the flat uh, D-Log format, and with my Canon 6D Mark II, I'm using the CineStyle Log color profile. Canon only puts their C-Log, the Canon Log profile, on some of their cameras. The 6D Mark II is not high-end enough to deserve such features, but uh, we fake it with the, um, with the CineStyle Log uh, color profile and it comes out really good. So when you're taking this footage from wherever it might be and you're throwing it on the iPad Pro uh, and my editor of choice is LumaFusion, there are a couple different things that you need to do. The first is you need to color correct your footage. Color correct uh, is different than color grade. A color correction means that you are taking the footage that you've shot, especially if it's flat log footage, and you are correcting it. You're correcting for exposure and contrast and making sure that it looks generally pleasing. This does not include a lot of artistic uh, additions or um, changes in color. You know, you're not adding uh, two-toning or any kind of special features or LUTs or, or really anything. You're literally just making sure that the footage that you have, that your, your lights and your darks and your midtones are well proportioned, that you've got a good amount of contrast, but that you're not blowing out your highlights or underexposing and crushing your blacks. Once you get this kind of nice, smooth, and quality look, which will depend on the quality of the footage that you have to begin with, and that's why it's important to correct first, you'll kind of see how much you can get out of your footage. Then you can switch to the color grade, which is where you make it look the way you want it to look. So if you're looking for something that's just normal every day, then you might honestly stop at the color correct. You might just be done. If you want something to look like old film, or maybe you want it to be black and white, or maybe you want to add kind of that, um, that teal and orange look, those are the types of things that you would do in a color grade afterwards. And for some people, uh, they like manually adjusting those. Some people like using presets or LUTs, um, which is the same as a preset. It's called a lookup table. And what it does is it compares the color that is in your existing footage to the color in your preset and then kind of modifies them. It's good for different types of cameras so that you can match color from camera to camera. So I really love doing this and you can do this in LumaFusion on the iPad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some footage that I recently shot uh, over this weekend when I took my Mavic out into the woods uh, and flew it over some really cool kind of snowy peaks. And we're going to add a color grade and use some LUTs and color correct the footage uh, on the iPad Pro. Uh, we're gonna do the whole thing in 4K and then I'll show you the footage when it's done. So let's go ahead and hop in and take a look. Okay, so. Okay, so here we are in LumaFusion and we've got our 4K 
grade project open. Um, if you're not sure how to create a new project or how to get some of your footage into your project, um, check out my previous video that I did on editing drone footage in LumaFusion. Uh, I went over a lot in that video, a lot of basics. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take some footage uh, that I shot over the weekend and we are going to drop it into LumaFusion. We're going to take a look at some of that color correction and color grade. So first things first, um, I'm going to select my clip uh, that I want to edit and I'm going to kind of find the, the specific shots that I want to add. And the first one is this shot of flying through the trees here. And then I just want to bring up all the way to about here. So this is a really long clip, but it's really cool looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with it and it'll work really well for this particular video. As you can see, this footage is very low contrast, very low saturation. It's shot in uh, D log on the Mavic Pro at um, 4K. At, at, at 30 frames a second. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our clip and we'll go ahead and find a couple more that we wanna add. Specifically right about here where I kinda came up and over the, the mountain. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jog back All right, right to about there. And then we're gonna Jog that back quite a bit. You can see me kind of flying the drone around that that mountain top, trying to get a cool shot. Okay, so if we come back to here, and we'll take it to right about there. We'll set our out point, and then we will go ahead and drop that clip right down onto the timeline. Okay. All right. So now we've got two clips on here. And so now what I want to do is I, I want to add some grading um, to this clip. I really want to increase the saturation and add some color. And I, I even want to try out some of the LUTs that I've got. But before I do that, I've got to really kind of make sure that I've done a color correction on this footage. So I'm going to do that by hitting edit. And then down here in the bottom of the screen, you've got our three options. Remember, we've got our frame and fit, which is how we move uh, stuff around on the screen. We've got our speed control, and we've got our color and effects control. So we're gonna stay in color and effects. Um, I'm gonna skip using all these kind of presets. I'm gonna go straight to original. It's gonna bring up our color board, and I'm gonna take a look here and see how we're doing. So our highlights are pretty high, so I'm gonna bring those down just a little bit. And I'm going to bring down these midtones just a little bit as well. And then kind of bring our shadows up. Right there. Okay. And brightness is actually looking pretty good. Bring the contrast up just a little bit. I'm gonna bring the saturation up just a tad. Bring the highlight down. The amount of highlights in this shot are really high because we were shooting in the snow. Okay. And other than that, I actually I actually like the way that this footage is is um is coming across. I don't think there's really a whole lot that needs to be done. I think the white balance was actually pretty good. Uh, and otherwise I think we're doing okay. So now what I wanna do is I wanna try and throw a LUT onto this video. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by clicking on this little import button here on the left-hand side. I'm already storing a number of LUTs in my Dropbox, which you can link into LumaFusion, uh, which is a great way to transfer content back and forth. And the one that I wanna use is this Cinema Log. Um, it's Cinema Log dot cube and what that means is that number one it's a it's a 
LUT that's designed to give a cinematic look. It's designed by Maddie over at Travel Feels, uh, who is awesome. Check out his channel. And it's also designed specifically for log footage. So it's designed to work with the kind of footage that we're working with now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that now. It's going to download that lookup table into LumaFusion. So it's now added that to our shot. So what we have here is the, the look of this LUT on top of our existing uh, color correction. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this down to about 50% maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay. The really great thing is that you can just scrub through this. So this, this is 4k footage that has been color corrected, edited, and now it has a LUT on top of it. And we can just zoom through it at a hundred percent play speed on the iPad pro, um, without drop frames. I cannot do this on my, uh, 2011 iMac. So this is actually really fun and it really gives you a lot of power on the go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back and we'll select our other clip. And we could go through here and do the same thing. We can click on this clip and we can go back to the edit screen. And we can actually add this as both of these, these two uh, edits together as a preset. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit on that add star. Okay, and we'll just call this uh, cinema log corrected and we'll hit add. So now we can go back to our other clip, right? Which you can see has not been corrected and has not had any kind of color grade applied to it. And we can click on presets and there is our preset announcement applied. So we didn't have to do that extra work. And we can just play right through. which is awesome. Okay, so now we have this footage, it's in full 4K, and now it has been color graded and corrected. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and export this. I'm gonna export it as a movie to my Photos app. I'm gonna export it at full 4K, at 30 frames a second with uh, standard video quality. Actually, you know what? I'm going to up that just a little bit because I know that the Mavic Pro video is actually 60 megabits per second. So we're going to up that just a tad. And otherwise, I think we are good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and export that now. So you can see how quick and easy that is using LumaFusion to edit video. So that was 4K, 30 frames a second. I pulled that right out of the drone. I used the Apple camera connection kit with my card reader. Um, if you've never seen uh, the trick, check out my video on uh, connecting these guys to the iPad. Um, this is a, a really easy and fast way to get footage off of the drone using the card and not having to connect the drone directly to your iPad because that can be a little bit slower than actually using a USB 3.0 reader because the iPad Pro has USB 3 built in so it can do that super fast. It rendered that 48 second clip in less than 48 seconds which for 4K with adjustments is huge. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope that that allows you to take some of your footage, especially the stuff that you're shooting on the go and trying to get cut and get graded in the field with your iPad straight off your drone or straight off your DSLR and get it out to your client or get it out to YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is that you're, you're putting your stuff on.
If you like stuff like this, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know uh, what people enjoy seeing on this channel. Uh, I appreciate it when you share it with your friends, and especially when you hit that subscribe button. That really helps. Uh, and that way you can be notified whenever I'm doing new videos. So if there's new stuff or different stuff that you want to hear about or learn, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Uh, and if I don't already know about it, then we're going to learn together. Thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am over that 100 subscriber mark. Uh, that was a fun uh, month and a half to two months. Uh, but now I've got my custom domain. I'm officially youtube.com forward slash J Blake photo, which is awesome. So thank you again to everyone who's subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and I will see you in the next video.